Hi guys, so today's video is actually something I've never done before, but I'm so excited because this has been something I've wanted to do for a while, actually since I was in high school, and that is get certified in makeup. So I've been obsessed with makeup since high school, like I was saying, and I've always been interested in getting certified, but honestly... It's something that's kind of scary to me because I don't know anything about getting certified in makeup. So I am actually partnering with Online Makeup Academy and I am going to be going through and getting certified through their website. Um, and I wanted to do this because I wanted to see how difficult it would be for someone like me, someone who's not really that good at school and all that um, to complete my certification. So, that being said, I'm going to bring you along. I'm kind of anxious. I'm hoping that, like, I don't submit stuff and the teachers... I, I already know the teachers are nice because someone actually sent me a video that I'll play in a minute. But, um, yeah, I'm just nervous that, like, my I'm not going to do good or something. I don't know. I just have a lot of anxiety. So, this will be a journey and this will definitely be a multi-day video. But, yeah, so basically, um, a teacher actually already sent me a video, which I will play right now. Hi, Raiden. Welcome to Online Makeup Academy. My name is Elena, and I'm a tutor here. So I'll be seeing your work, your progress, and giving you tips on how you can improve. I'm super excited for you, Raiden, to be on this journey, and I can't wait to see your work. Bye for now. I thought that was so cute and just really personal, personal, I almost said personable, personable and personal. Um, let me sign up. I'm just going to like create my account and all that and I will be right back once I have like my account all set up and all that. So be right back. Okay, so I'm in and I, while I was signing up, I noticed and I'll put them right here. There's multiple different courses you can actually sign up to complete and get certified in. So it looks like the one I'm doing is the adv Makeup Advanced course. Um, and like I said, there's other courses too. There's even like a special effects one, which I think is so interesting and I feel like would be so fun. Um, so as you can see, it says my instructor's name right here, Paulina, and the percentage I have completed the courses. So I'm just gonna click. Okay, so let's see how many there are. This reminds me of college. Like they, this is what like a college course looks like. This is insane, this is a lot. You're getting like a lot of material. All right, let's go to introduction. Welcome to the Advanced Makeup Program. In this course, you will learn everything from editorial to creative to high fashion makeup and even marketing and where to start as a makeup artist. This program is for anyone who is willing to improve their knowledge and their skills on more advanced techniques. In this program, you will receive video tutorials, so a demonstration on how to achieve a certain look. You will also receive lectures and informational articles. Along with that, you will receive a makeup kit that we have put a lot of thought into. Our goal throughout this whole course is to teach you all these advanced tips, techniques, and tricks to make you ready to go out in the real world as a makeup artist. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Okay. So that was the introduction. Really cool. So let me complete and continue. Let me see. Does it say? Oh, yeah. It says 1% completed. How cute. Okay, so I've been watching some of the videos on the side right here in the Model 1 introduction. And um, I think it's really helpful because like I watched cre the Creative Makeup one, for instance. And they go through, the instructor goes through and tells you like how to achieve the specific look that the video is about. Like Creative Makeup, there was someone with like gold foil on their face. And she was explaining how to create that look exactly if you had no idea and I feel like that's really helpful for someone like even me I don't do creative makeup I just do like every day so I feel like it's really helpful for me to if I wanted to 
you know, do a look like that with foil over my face. I wouldn't even know where to start. So I really like that she took us through step by step on how to achieve this look. And she did period makeup right here and then HD. And she's just going through all the different genres. But I really find it helpful that they're explaining it so thoroughly, if that makes sense. So I'm going to keep going through and I will come back when I'll be back. So, but I just wanted to check in and let you know, like, what's going on. So, yeah, I, I'm really liking this so far. And I'm not as, like, anxious as I was, which is good. So, yeah. Okay, I'm back already. So, I have been watching the videos and I'm on my first homework assignment. And this is where um, I'm going to flash to the next day. Because for this homework assignment, I have to create a creative makeup look and a glossy wet makeup look. Um, I'm already wearing makeup, so I'm going to just do this on a different day where I'm not wearing any makeup. But I have to submit a before and after and my instructor will give me feedback on my looks. So that is where I will end today um but stay tuned i will flash to me doing those okay so it's been a few days later and this is the first makeup assignment that i did it is the glossy look can you see i've never worn a look like this so this is definitely out of my comfort zone but i actually really like how natural it is it's really pretty to me so yeah i'm gonna be stopping into by the way for like these makeup assignments so if you actually want a tutorial on any of them i will you know recreate whatever look you want but yeah i'm just gonna be doing quick little stop-ins to show you my progress but yeah it's glossy okay this is the second this is the second assignment this is supposed to be like a period piece so like I'll put the reference picture right there I think it's pretty cute actually so yeah I will check back in with you guys in a few days when I do the next assignment hi guys so I'm back um it's been a few weeks I think at this point um I did a few makeup looks that I didn't record um because there were kind of just looks that I didn't feel like like one was a cut crease and stuff like that I'll put and one was a twiggy look I'll put inspiration pictures if you don't know what I'm talking about but like these looks were also homework assignments um but I am kind of wrapping up my journey or I'm wrapping up my I'm I'm almost I've almost completed the classes I don't know why that was so hard for me to say but yeah I've almost completed all the classes um and so I wanted to record my final look this is the avant-garde look I have never done an avant-garde makeup look so this is gonna be completely new for me so yeah I'm going to do the look come back check in and then I probably will finish like, I'll probably record a separate day with my final thoughts. And yeah, let's just get into this avant-garde look. I said avant-garde, but I meant editorial. Um, this is what I have. I am still laughing because I went out to show my boyfriend this look and he's sitting in the car. And when I opened the door and I came out, he literally got so scared for a second. Yeah. <laughs> And when he rolled down the window, he was like, I didn't know who you were. But yeah, I really like this look, actually. Like, I would probably wear this somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, I really like it. And I felt like the blonde hair just matched more. So, um, yeah. Oh, and by the way, I didn't base this off of the look that was... Here's the other thing I've been liking about these assignments is you don't have to copy the model look or like the assignment look. You can literally interpret it yourself and recreate whatever you're feeling that matches kind of or like, you know, as long as it's editorial. So I really like that too because I feel like I was really stressed about having to do the exact look. So this is not what the 
the model was wearing for the assignment, but this is what I interpreted as editorial. Um, so yeah, I will check back in with you guys in a few days and give my final thoughts once, uh, once I have completed all the rest of the assignments. So be back in a second, but for me, it's going to be a few days. Okay, so it's been probably a week or so after the last clip, um, and I finally just completed my last assignment, which is so exciting. The whole course took about three weeks for me to complete. Um, there's a lot of material and just there's a lot of information. So you can definitely do it faster than me. I just also have been battling a lot of, or I've also just been dealing with a lot of personal stuff. So I could have probably, you know, done it at a faster pace, but I like that you know, you can do it at your own pace. That's a huge pro. I'm wrapping it up. I'm really excited to get my certification. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but a reason why I wanted to get certified is you can get discounts at like professional makeup brands like Mac Pro stores. You can get like a 40% discount or something. And I love the Mac Pro line. Um, I'm not even sure you can shop it online if you're not if you aren't certified so that's a huge pro to getting certified how many times can i say certified but no the experience was actually way nicer and it was way nicer than i expected i don't know i have such bad anxiety when it comes to online school just from past experiences but this was like honestly not what I was expecting. I liked, like I said, how it was at your own pace. And um, if you had any questions and when you submitted work, tutors would respond. Like it wouldn't be like a robot AI response. It was very, very personal. And it was just really nice. So I was very pleasantly surprised with just everything. And I definitely learned a lot. And it, it, it was just really, really cool. And I'm really happy that I decided to do this. I really personally enjoyed doing a lot of different looks that I typically haven't even tried before ever. Uh, some of them you saw and some of them I, I did off camera and just was like doing the schoolwork. I don't know. I just it was really actually fun and it was surprising at how I like impressed myself not to like toot my own horn but like I impressed myself with doing the different looks and not completely bombing them so anyway like I mentioned before if you want to get specialized in other things too they do have other programs like the special effects makeup for instance um but I think this is a really good program for people who genuinely are starting from scratch because you can get a kit too as well I believe that's included in your um like when you sign up for the course but yeah i just really feel like this would be so helpful for people who are wanting to make this a career because also something i didn't mention is towards the end of the course they were getting into like the business side a video i watched today even was how to deal with negativity from you know just being a makeup artist just stuff like that that i wouldn't have even thought of you know, when I was getting into this course, but they have every, they have all their bases covered. So definitely, definitely check this out if you are interested. Um, I do believe I have a coupon code for money off. I believe it's for a hundred dollars off. I'll put that right here and in the description, but yeah, I just am really pre pleasantly surprised and really happy I did this. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I will answer them in the comments below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.